Have you ever heard of amino acids, peptides, and proteins? Well, in this video, we're going to get into it. You're here with Mark Batwell at PerfectGardens.com. Make sure to check out our membership site where you're going to be able to get priority replies on comments for any people that have questions. You'll be getting exclusive membership only videos because there are so many videos guys I post that are age restricted and barely get out to anyone. And I've realized that if I just remove all of the pictures, it will get out to more people. The issue with that though is people that are here to learn about specific plants lose the opportunity to see pictures that I'm really trying to show you specifics on. You're also going to get emojis that will help bring certain questions to the surface that you think videos should be made on them. Right now I'm getting over 100 questions a day and it's difficult to reply to all of them and I need a better way of prioritizing the questions. I'm definitely going to be still answering as many questions as I can. I give you my word on that although this gives you an opportunity to be part of the creating process on this channel. Just want to say thank you so much to AsoG. You know I've seen you post a number of times on this channel man a number of things you've said I've agreed with and I've also noticed kind of how you post. You're one of those types of people that wants to trust, but will normally find a way to sabotage your opportunity to actually experience the opportunity from working out. And so, brother, I highly recommend just asking yourself, what do you got to lose and just giving something a shot? Okay, so let's just go and point out a few things. He said he wanted to give uh, Drops of Balance a try, but then he ended up finding the video Water Problems Solved with Drops of Balance. Highly recommend you go and watch that because I guess I said a few things that I contradict myself on or something. He also said that it erodes metal. And in the 10 years I've ever referenced this product, I'm, the only time I've really ever referencing something eroding metal is when I am referencing water that doesn't have anything, whether it's been like stripped from minerals, so it's been run through an RO system or it's distilled water. That type of water will strip metal. What Drops of Balance does is it restructures water, water soluble minerals, like so minerals that have already been dissolved in water, it restructures them. And and then because of a specific sulfate of mineral, specifically aluminum sulfate, excess organic compounds, and there's five of them, so let's get them to them real quick. There's hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, and sulfur. Okay, so, and that's what Drops of Balance is, okay? Drops of Balance is ionic sulfate of minerals, aka amino acids and peptides. And so what are amino acids, peptides, and proteins? And there's a lot of different terminology out there on the internet, all the way from the amino acids, peptides, and proteins that are in the human body and in plants. So there's actually a different language out there. And, and I actually just covered this with Chris from Mr. Groed. We just had a conversation on mineral deficiencies and toxicities. Although amino acids are basically combinations of organic compounds in different size groups. Okay, so again, what are the five organic compounds? There is hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, and sulfur. So initially, when you just have like, let's say a hydrogen and an oxygen, for example, together, that's an amino acid. Let's say you have a hydrogen and oxygen, and then you have a nitrogen and oxygen or something together. Well, those are two amino acids put together. Well, let's say you have three or four of those combinations put together. That becomes a peptide. And let's say you have anywhere from 50 to 100 of those together. A lot of people will call those proteins. I actually don't like to call it proteins at that point. In my viewpoint, when a, what a protein is, is when those organic compounds bind to a mineral is when it becomes a protein. So once again, what is drops of balance? Drops of balance is 34 plus ionic sulfate of minerals, which you can also call amino acids and peptides that have been rigorously tested for over 50 years. I highly recommend you go over to the Drops of Balance website, go over to the safeties and testing and check out all of the different pesticides and fungicides and man-made chemicals, this one product has reverted all back to sulfate of minerals. No, so let's be clear. When you are adding in four mLs per gallon, that is for drinking water. When you are adding in one mL per gallon, that is for your plants. There is a very good chance you will not see this type of precipitation. And what I talk to people about is when you're adding in the four mLs per gallon for drinking water, I actually recommend for them to let the water sit for 24 to 48 eight hours to allow the excess organic compounds to get restructured and fall out of the water in addition to allow the excess minerals 
to fall out of the water. In the video that Chris and I talk about, I actually go through chemical structures where there are many different types of nitrogens that are in our fertilizer bottles. And, and on the channel, I talk to you guys actually all the time about it. If you haven't checked out the video about the benefits of nitrogen, where I actually go through the seven chemical structures that nitrogen goes through through the nitrogen cycle, I highly recommend you do so because you'll see that where I'm actually showing you the chemical structures and then I'm actually showing you what the chemical structures are with the other nitrogens. I actually talk about it also with Chris on his platform that will be released within the next two to three weeks. If you go back over there to the safeties and testing though, you're going to see anywhere from 2,500 to 4,000 chemicals that have been proven to be reverted back to a sulfate of mineral. This is huge. Why is this huge? It's because these incomplete chemical reactions put excess things into our soil that shuts down our microbiology. This is one of those big hurdles that aren't discussed in our industry, that this is one of the main problems we, we have difficulties getting our microbiology biology going. SOG, I think you are 100% fair on asking for a better explanation on drops of balance, 100%. So once again, they are amino acids and peptides. And why are they able to tear apart all the excess materials is because the specific types of organic compounds that are the base of drops of balance are sulfur. The only other thing that you can find on the market that is an organic compound kind of similar to drops of balance but it's still night and day different is a humic acid or a fulvic acid product because humic acids and fulvic acids are are organic compounds derived from sulfur a lot of the industry doesn't talk about these things and that's why on this channel i talk about the manufacturing practices because i want to teach you the language of this industry so that you come to the other side of the veil with me SOG brother, I can feel it, man. You've been screwed probably once or twice in your life and you have a hard time opening up or trusting other people. You're probably one of those people that you need to figure it out for yourself. You have to understand it for yourself. And I'm proud of you for wanting to seek more information. What I encourage you to do though, is that if you were going to try something, don't let a misunderstanding rock your boat to the point where you don't give yourself an opportunity to have a real life experience. Brother, I love your posting, man. I see you all the time. Thank you for posting this. I love to be challenged. And I hope this explanation was a little better than the manufacturer saying it won't damage the soft tissue of the cell walls of the plant. Because once again, it's all about the amino acids, peptides, and proteins. Thank you so much, and have a great grow, everyone. Okay, so most likely where this probably came from is some guy probably pulled out a smartphone or an LED light or something and was looking at its plants at night or under the dark, and it looked super crystally. 